Hello and welcome. Today we will do a bigger, slightly bigger, probably not, unboxing. Herbert there. So we got the bigger five pack we're gonna pick each card king pack of course. Yee. Yeah. So yeah, this one does come with Darkest Hydrus and Artilus Garnoid. So yeah, obviously a seeing here. And if I had to guess or no, I don't know. I would say this is probably a well probably it's obviously a, a um Ventus Dragonoid. A Aquas uh Fangzor. This one gave me the most problem of guessing what it is, but turning to the back. You can see the little hands there and the feet. It's most likely a truck, so yeah, there it is. Whole thing. Don't have a good set to show everything. There's the brawlers there. So yee. Let's go ahead and get this open. Yee. So if you are younger, I would recommend a parent cutting it for you. Or if you are a trusted kid, or you can do it if you want to. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can... I mean, ground there, you can probably be 20. People won't keep trust, trust or not trust. I don't know, they just gotta pin if they know you. But yee. What am I even speed saying anymore? Let's just go ahead and do this. So we have the box right here now. Inside the box, go ahead and get the cores out. Slightly harder to tape across the whole thing. There you go. Got a better thing here, so go ahead and get the cores out without anything falling out. Nope, there goes one. Yeah, got them all. So, let's go ahead and get through this quickly. So, we got Fire Fist 5, Green Fist 2, Green Fist plus 2, Fire Fist 150M plus 4. Oh dear. Hey, awesome Pirates plus 400 for a red shield. Fire Fist, 250B, and plus 3. DNA Strand, minus 300 and minus 1. Another DNA Strand, plus 600, but minus 3. Another DNA Strand, uh, minus 200 and plus 5. And finally, Green Fist, plus 50 and plus 1. So we... A bunch of cores over there, so let's go ahead and get to the cards. Oh, don't want to drop it all out of bed. It's pretty cool, I think. Camera kind of looks a tiny bit 3D here. So, ye. These are fake. Only if they were real. But there is cards on the bottom, but. So, you just push it to the bottom, or you just rip it out, it doesn't matter, really. Unless you want to collect these and just check inside to see what's inside. Can I even get these out? Yes, I can. There we go. Finally. Okay, we got these. They are still taped down. Don't know if I actually made a hole in the bag already. I don't think so. Now there's the uh, thing. Why tape? Why do you do this to me? There we go. Tiny hole in there, but you know. Cards are cards, so information, etc., etc. Need those for now. So we got character cards right here. 
First one, we got Hydrus Ultra, 800 B power. That's really strong, but only one attack. And every fish, you get three attack. So that's pretty good balance. So there's that. Arliss Garganoid plus 400 for B power whenever on a fist. Really good. Three attack, pretty decent. And then we got Dragonoid here. DNA Strand 400. I guess the other ones are buried in here. Hold on, let me see if I can dig them out real quick. There we go. Tape still in it. Pyrus truck, so I was right. Victor gets one energy. Pretty nice. Fangzor. Blank. He's the only blank one out of them all, but still pretty good. Go ahead and get to the cards. Flip card. Yep, takes three, sowing seeds. Engulfing embers. Five, four under the. Counter Pyrus stops Pyrus attacks. Zero. This is a really good one. Yep, there's this one. Non, it blocks non darkest, so. Klee's Outsiders. And then we got a Chaos. Cleansing Light. 200, and then put it at the bottom of your deck. Pretty good. So let me go ahead and get the rest of this out. Hold on real quick. Alright, I'm back. You know, it's been only two seconds. Let's go ahead and get the back we got out. So we got these two right here. Let's go for Gargonoid. No, actually, let's go for uh, Hydra. So yeah, there's Hydrus right here. Dark. Darkest. 800, so it's really good. The only thing is, attack is only one. Only if it could focus. There we go. Let me just go ahead and close this guy up. There we go, got him closed. If you want to see how to close and stuff on my other, on my uh, channel. He's, uh, already did it, so he, darkies, just go ahead and do a roll. With a bigger target, I still miss. There we go. He opens, there we go. It's off to the next one. Alright, so here's the, uh, Garganoid. Remember this one being harder in the, or at least pretty hard in the, um, other unboxing, so I'm gonna quickly cut it. Here he is. This one's kind of simple to close, even though it says it's harder in the thing. Only thing you do is head down, legs in, make sure you're down. The reason I didn't do the other one on camera because it's kind of tough doing it with two hands and keeping it in the camera. Fold is it, make sure its legs are all the way in, his head's in. First, before you do anything, arms. I know you want to be free, but you will not be free yet. After that, get the wings in. There you go. Wing. There you go. Roll. Put this one back in place. Everything breaks after that. Great. Oh well. Well, it didn't really roll as I wanted to, but it's supposed to do a backflip if you do it right. Yep, there's the art of this Darkenoid. So many cuts, isn't there? Let's go ahead and get these uh, out. Dragonoid first. It's Dragonoid. If I can get them out. Oh, gosh. All right, Dragonoid just took a jump for it, but I received him. He's right here. Popped open by itself. Quote unquote hitting the floor. Rip. 
This one has 200. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say. And this one had uh, 700 right there. The Dragonoid has um, 200, if you can focus. There we go. Same thing as a card, usually. There's there. Then there. There's the wings. Wings and final steps tail. Then you just roll on the card. That easy. Ish. Put them over here. Dragonoid. Let's go ahead and do uh, another one. It, hopefully he doesn't jump on, onto the ground and try to escape. Number D. Yeah. Why you no come out? All right, I'm right back. All right, finally got the Serpentoid out. Should have just felt like I should have just got the chainsaw or something like that. Just cut it open, but here we go. Man, I am good at this, aren't I? Herbider. Herbider. Herbider, there we go. He jumped. Yep, there's a ox fangs over there. He has 600 B power. Focus. Focus. See, 600 up. Never mind. I tried and got it blurry again. So how to close him? Head, tail, snap a Rooney, boom. He just pops out like that. And there you go. So let's try to get the last one out, and hopefully it doesn't take an hour to get it. Man, they really don't want you to get these out. It feels like. So yeah, be careful about opening these ones that are inside the sockets. They might go flying. So yeah, be right back once again. All right, finally got them out. Like my hands are broken or something. I don't know why. So we have to go ahead and get this guy open though. So yeah, so be careful when you uh, do do these. Not as explosive as the other ones. This one has a uh, arms you can pull out. T-Rex arms. Be honest, I still think he looks like a tiny bit like a hamster. And it's attribute. Do I remember where his attribute e? Not attribute. I meant um. G power. There it is. Five hundred. There we go. 500, right there, finally, so we got 10 Becca cores in total, we got 5 of these beautiful cards, 5 Becca gun, 5 carriage cards, the normal ones took so long to get out, well, Dragon Oil just jumped out but the uh, other two were a pain so be careful when you open it so you don't accidentally break it into a bunch of smithereens so uh yeah and that's all we got have a blessed day sorry for all the cuts though so, yeah have a blessed day